Hello, my friends, you read the title correctly. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Batocera into an external device. For this tutorial, you can use any external storage device that you want. You can use an external hard drive, a USB flash drive, or even a SD card or a micro SD card. And what you are going to need to follow these steps is as simply as a PC, the external storage device, as I mentioned before, and a controller to play your games, but you can also use your keyboard and mouse if you prefer so. But for retro gaming, I think a controller is the best. I'm going to let you some affiliate links, recommendations about controllers and storage that you can use. Now into storage, don't get a really old USB flash drive or device because then it's going to run a little bit slower. I recommend you guys that you get at least a device that is compatible with USB 3.0 upwards. The first thing that you want to do in your PC is to download the Batocera Linux image file and for that you want to click right here into the tab of download and for this case that you're going to be using it into a pc you want to go into the standard desktop laptop x64 that you can see right here click into the direct link and download it apart from that you're also going to need the balena etcher to be able to flash the image from batocera into your device going to the website right here everything is going to be down in the description down below if you want to follow along and download it for windows once you have it downloaded you want to take and plug in the device where you want to set up Batocera on. In my case, I'm going to be using this external hard drive. It's a two terabytes one. This is a little bit of an exaggeration, but this is what I have free right now. So I'm going to install it here. But one thing to know is that the bigger the capacity you have, the more games you're going to be able to run on it. So plug it in your PC and let's start with the setup. Now what you want to do is to open the Balena Etcher, where you see flash from file, click on it, select the downloaded image file from Batocera, begin to open, now select the target. Be really sure that you choose the drive where you want to install Batocera because it's going to delete everything that is on it. So if you have more hard drives or anything connected into your PC, check that you are using the correct one. Select on it and click into flash. If you're using a really big drive like I am, this is going to give you one warning. You want to click into yes, I'm sure. And the process is going to start. Now you only have to sit and wait until it's done so we can continue. Now when Balena Etcher is already done flashing Batocera into your drive, you want to close it. And I'm going to show you two ways that you can make your PC or their system where you want to use this. Because again, guys, this is portable. You can use it today in this PC and tomorrow in another one is not going to be an issue. So to start directly from the Batocera OS and not from your hard drive where you probably have your Windows installation, you can have two options, one of them is by clicking into the search bar and you want to type recovery. You are going to see right here the recovery options. Now this works both for Windows 11 and Windows 10. You are going to find yourself in this window. You want to click where you see advanced startup, click into restart now. Once again, restart now. And on this menu that you see right here, you want to click into use a device. And normally you are going to find it under UFI removable device or can have the device name of your external disk. And the second option that you can have to start into Batocera is simply to restart your system and start clicking away the delete key or the F2 key, depending on the system that you have. It's going to be a little bit different to enter the BIOS of your PC. Now, when you are inside of the BIOS, every manufacturer have a little bit of a different BIOS, but you're going to be able to follow along with these instructions. You want to tap where you see boot and into boot option number one, you want to select this and change it into the drive where you have Batocera installed. Now you want to go to exit, click save changes and reset. Okay. And now your system should start in Batocera OS directly. When you first start Batocera, it's going to go to a process of uh, resizing partitions and finishing to install the Linux operating system into the drive. And after the logo animation of Batocera, you're going to be find yourself here. Now, here we can do a bunch of things and I'm going to show you a couple of things that I believe that they are the most important to get you guys up and running. What I'm going to show you first is how to transfer your ROMs and BIOS files into the Batocera OS. Yes, Batocera doesn't come with all of the BIOS required to run all of the different systems. And I cannot really tell you where to find them because they are copyrighted, but if you only search in Google for Batocera BIOS, or I even believe that is a GitHub repository with all of the BIOS in there, so you know where to find them. There are three different ways how you can transfer your files to the Batocera OS. One of them is through network. You have to have both the PC when you have Batocera running connected to the same network as a secondary PC and 
connect to it. It's really simple to do. The other one is to reformat the partition on Batocera itself to a partition that is able to read with Windows OS. If you are using Linux, you are not going to do this step. But what I believe is the easiest one to show and to do is as simply as you want to copy all the BIOS files and ROMs that you have into a SD card, USB flash drive again, external hard drive, any external storage that you have at hand. When you have copied everything inside of there, you want to plug it in the same PC as you have Patosera running. And again, I cannot show you where to download also the ROMs, but just Google for them. Now you want to press in your keyboard the F1 key. This is going to bring up this file explorer from Batocera OS. And as you can see right here, I already have my flash drive identified. What I recommend you guys to do is to go first into that flash drive and click right here where you can see create a new tab for this folder. In that way, it's going to be easier for you to copy the things between them. You don't have to search for them or anything. So in one of them, go into the BIOS folder of Batocera, select all of the BIOS that you are going to need and copy them into the BIOS folder. Once you have done that, you can go into the ROMs folder. As you can see right here, there are a bunch of different folders. Every folder of this is for a system that is compatible with Batocera. Now, you want to place your ROMs and games inside of the correct folder for every system. And let's say, for example, that I want some Nintendo 64 games. So I go inside of them, and inside of Batocera, I go again into the Nintendo 64 folder Select all of them, copy them, and paste them. Or drag them around, it's the same. And you want to do the same for every system. Let's say one more that you want SNES games. You have to place the correct games in the correct system that you want to be using. Now you want to do this by every system and games that you want to have in your Batocera installation. Now when you are done transferring all the files that you wanted, go into the left top hand corner, click into File, and click into Close Window. This is going to bring you back to the Batocera OS. Now, let's set up the controller. Now, this step is going to be different depending on the controller that you use. I let you guys some recommendations in the description down below, also some store recommendation. In this case, I'm going to be using the Xbox controller, and as you can see, it's already plug and play. This note that this is the Xbox One controller, and it's going to work with it. Now, if your controller doesn't appear already, it's going to ask you to introduce the keys. I'm going to show you how this works. If you have a new controller, it's going to pop up automatically, but if not, you want to click into the Start button, go where you see Controller and Bluetooth settings, and go into Controller Mapping. Inside of there, you want to hold a button, and now you only have to follow the instructions on the screen to configure all of the buttons on your controller. Follow along, it's really simple. For hotkey, I recommend you guys that you select Select, it's one of the best ones for that, and pressing OK. Now that you have your controller set up, one more thing that you can set up here into the main menu is the network settings. You can go inside of them. You can enable Wi-Fi right here. This only if you want, if you want to transfer your files through Wi-Fi. But you're going to need this to be able to make the next step that we're going to do right now. So I recommend you guys that you connect at least one time to the internet your Batocera installation. When you're done, it's going to tell you that Wi-Fi is enabled. Go back from the main menu and go into any of the systems where you have set up games. The games aren't showing. For that, go back, go once more into the menu, Go into Game Settings and Update Game List. Click into Yes. And now, when you go inside of your console, you are going to see that you have the games right there. But they look really bad, isn't it? You cannot see any box art or anything of them. Well, we are going to do that, and that's why we needed the internet before. If you don't want to make it manually, you need to be connected to the internet. So let's go back, go once more into the Start menu, go where you see Scraper, Scrape From. I recommend you guys that you let the default into Scraper setting. You can change this right here. Press Screenshot or Title Screenshot, Mix Box 2D, Box 3D, Fan Art. In my case, I'm going to show uh, Box 3D into Box Source. I'm going to let it into Box 2D, Logo Source Wheel. Everything else is okay. If you want to select to scrape videos, to scrape the manuals, maps, anything else, you can choose right here. Now, for this server, you're going to need to have a username and a password. If you don't want to make an account in there, you can go back and change the scrape from to the game's database, for example, that you don't need to make an account. I'm going to show it right here because it's more easy. Now you want to change again 
scraper settings, see that everything is correctly as you want it, go back, and into games to scrap for, games missing medias, and all the systems included. Now, click into scrape now, and this is going to start searching online for all the cover art and images that you are missing into your battle set games. While this scraping, one thing that I recommend you guys to do, especially for the 16-bit and 8-bit games, is to go into the start menu and into the game settings, that you turn off smooth games or bilinear filtering. This is going to give the games look a little bit smoother, but to tell you the truth, for older more games, or when I was small, my Super Nintendo games, I really prefer the look of the old TVs, and with this you are not going to have that effect. So I would recommend you guys that you change this from auto to off. Now, this is personal preference, so do as you wish. Now, Pato said I have a lot of systems that supports, but of course, depending on the computer that you're running Batocera on, some games are going to work better than other ones. If you're running it in an older PC, maybe some PlayStation 3 games or Wii games are going to run as good as they could. But if you are running a pretty decent system, you're going to be able to run anything from PlayStation 3, Wii, Wii U, and a lot more, guys. If you want to search for all the consoles that Batocera is compatible, you only have to go into the website and into the wiki. They have everything that you need. And that is pretty much it, guys. For example, you can also change things like the team if you don't like the original team of Batocera, and you can do a lot of stuff. But I believe that this for a beginner's video is mostly of what you need. Guys, now enjoy your Batocera system, have fun with it, and if you need any help or you have any suggestions for the channel, just let me know in the comments down below, okay? Thanks for watching, my friends. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like, and a subscriber is more than welcome into the channel. Thanks for watching, and like always, see you in the next time. Bye bye.